Uh, either one's fine. Oh, there it is. Okay. That should fix it. That should fix it. Alright, finally figured out what the problem was there. Here we go. Game 1, Grand Finals, Penne versus Disgaea. Going to PS2 for Game 1. Now, we saw this earlier in Winner's Finals. And uh, it was just so difficult for Penne to get out of disadvantage every time he lost neutral. It was just so much percentage getting sent over. And you can see it happening here again. That said, Game & Watch, very light. Bowser, very heavy. A percentage differential, even a large one, isn't as critical as it may seem as long as this guy is not able to find those big smash attacks, those down smashes, those forward smashes. Uh, but... <laughs> hard, to, hard to avoid down smash a move with that frame data that good, with that much reach. Oh my, so safe on shield with that move, and it does so much shield damage too, that up smash just absolutely demolishing Penne's shield there. Gonna catch Bowser's claw as it comes out with the up smash. This guy already finding themselves with a stock advantage. And uh, just already onto that evasive playstyle. When you're dealing with somebody with attacks as strong as Bowser's, you just want to avoid getting hit as much as possible. And when you finding your hits is a secondary thought, just like that. One good standing dodge, Bowser Bomb going to rip that stock away, put this back to a even situation. Uh, but once again, right off the start of the stock, a neutral win for Game & Watch. A solid couple of hits with those combos, and 77% on the board just like that. Just Penne just being played off the stage slowly, but surely back air going to send him way out. He's going to recover with the up B right into the hammers. This guy now a full stock up just like that. Oh, how do you even get out of disadvantage in this matchup? I just don't know. It's just... doesn't seem to be a way sometimes, but Penne looking for a way, starting to figure it out, at least able to get feet back on the stage, but now a little over-aggressive with that flame breath means that this guy does have a bucket ready to go. That's another... Oh my god! Caught the up -beat going high! The Bowser Bomb gonna shut that recovery down. 72% uh, to zero. Again, a percentage differential in this matchup of that size isn't as bad as it seems. Just need to not get down smashed or take it off stage with the turtles, recovering high there, opting to recover high to not have to deal with the bucket or the back air. Smart thinking, but still stuck in this disadvantage situation. Oh, the dash attack not quite gonna catch Bowser there. Penne now has a chance to get some work done. Big forward air, gonna actually get a command grab off the clank with the key, and now has the ledge. This guy needs to play very, very careful getting back here, the turtle gonna break right through that parry. Penne looking for somewhere. He can find a hit. Gonna air dodge that first turtle, but not able to deal with that second one. And this guy is gonna take game one by a hair. And uh, it's, yeah, just trying to find a way out of that disadvantage situation for Bowser here is just so painful. You can see, though, that once Penne's in the driver's seat, or at least just in neutral, even, uh, it, it only takes a couple of good guesses, a couple of right answers, and that's all it takes. But uh, it's just a matter of trying to find that. Uh, Alright, so here we go. Game two. Going to, I think you go to Battlefield this time. So, uh, you know, like there's advantages and disadvantages here. On the upside, Bowser's going to kill super early with Command Grab, right? Like, uh, if you especially hit the top platform, the stage being small, you know, ceiling, I believe, relatively low compared to the average. On the other hand, with these platforms, it may just be nearly impossible for Bowser to get back to neutral between the platforms and just having so little space to fade out. Uh, I'm not really sure how you get back to the ground here. The down air, though, doing some work in that regard. Throwing out a hitbox that allows Bowser to land as well, forces Disgaea to respect it. And yeah, this this may just be the answer. Look at that, the command grab gonna hit the top platform. It's not quite gonna kill, but it's, you know, it's something that gets your opponent thinking. Gets them a little bit worried. Actually gonna not take get stocked for missing that forward smash. That's one of those moments where you're thinking you're losing the stock for missing that move, but 
able to survive. Get up, up B coming out from this guy. <laughs> Just throw that safe option. Bowser trying to navigate. Oh, able to jump over the down smash and finds a back air to take the first stock. And at 128%, just camp in the platform to get rid of those iframes now. And now, Penny perfectly content to let Disgaea do the work having to get in. And, you know, he's, he's thinking, I don't got to do nothing. I don't got to be aggressive. This is on you now. You want to win this game, you're going to have to figure out how to get in through my defense. I'm done playing your game. You're going to play on my terms now. Big command grab onto that top platform. That leaves this guy on a rough spot of Smash. Does not care about your key, little man. But just like that, you know, once this guy is back into the neutral, <laughs> this game does get real difficult for Bowser. Now being stuck on his platform is even worse. Dash attack gonna send him off stage where that turtle becomes a threat, hugging the inside of the stage so close to avoid that. And then the command grab coming out once more, another solid chunk of damage. And every hit you land on a character this light means something. You do lose the stock there. Penne gonna be back down to even stocks, but just like that, right off stage, thrown out the forward airs. Gonna bring that stock advantage right back. Up a whole stock now. And just going to town. These this smaller stage seems to definitely be paying off for Bowser in a huge way, but those turtles really causing problems off stage. Recovering high. Gonna get it Penne back. Just really has this guy a condition to cover that low angle. And you know, now that, that low angle is not where Penne is. It's giving him a reliable way to get back to the stage. This guy needs to find a way to get past this ledge here. Uppy is gonna do it. It does, I think that traded? That Uppy is, or up air, causing Bowser so many problems because it, it really does force you to burn your options so high up. You burn your jump, you burn your up air so high up in the air. Narrowly out of the way of that turtle. Ooh. It's looking bad for Penne's stock here, but luckily Penne does have an entire other stock to play with. As I say that though, that command grab is gonna land, but it goes all the way up to the top platform, and this guy evens up the set. I'm sorry, Penne evens up the set. 1-1. One, one. Oh man, my brain is turning off tonight. Oof. Oh, I need to, we need a coffee machine in the venue. I, I need to be able to caffeinate. <laughs> Who wants to uh, who wants to DoorDash me a uh, a coffee real quick? I would be eternally grateful. I'll put a little text box up on the stream with your name in it. <laughs> Sponsored by so and so for buying me coffee. All right, here we go. Game three, going back to town and city. This makes a whole lot of sense on this guy's side. The stage worked really well for him in the previous set in winners finals. So definitely a excellent choice to go back to. Penne really. Playing this matchup a little bit differently, though, than we saw in Winners Finals, and it's paying off. Uh, just deciding to kind of camp right back. You know, it does slow the match down significantly, but Game & Watch, not a character known for being able to get in super well. Those up airs, though, are so difficult to get around. Ooh, that forward tilt. Sometimes, man, I tell you, that forward tilt just feels a little bit powerful for a move that quick, but... When you're a, uh, a grappler like that, you kind of kind of need those tools once you got somebody in the corner. Bowser's run speed's unfairly fast for a character that arcs type 2 sometimes, I'll tell you what. Woo! The forward air bomb. Gonna be a problem. Bowser can still make it back? Nope. Hammers are gonna be there to stop that from happening. Uh, I want to say maybe if you go a, bit lo a little bit lower, you might be able to make that back, but I don't know if Bowser can actually go lower there, but... Penny just going to snap that stock right back, even it up, but now needs to get out of this situation. Stuck on this platform, walking into the ledge. And this guy is just content to stay on the ledge, look for the jump, and just throw out these aerials. Ooh, a little over-aggressive, though. Up he had a shield, going to give Penny a get-out-of-jail-free card. And these turtles, though. Turtles, turtles, turtles. That's got to feel like a betrayal. Bowser essentially being a giant turtle, getting beat up by a smaller turtle. That's gotta, that's gotta feel bad, right? Ooh, the forward air bomb. Gonna catch the standing dodge. Penne throwing out some hitboxes, just trying to land a hit. Landing Nair actually just not even gonna get him back into neutral there. Just gets upbeat right back out of it. Penne able to get feet back on the ground here. There's an opportunity, but needs to find a way in. That flame breath gonna cost him big. Standing dodge gets called. 
forward smash comes out, and that is going to be the stock going over for Disgaea, who now has a lot of room to play with here. And we're already seeing that percentage rack up with those forward airs. The turtle, just so much oppression for a character like Bowser to deal with in disadvantage. Playing Breath on the ledge, this guy is going to just up B right past it. There's the jab lock into the judgment. Seven, we got some apples, a little bit of healing on deck here. Not enough to really uh, make a huge difference, but... I mean, when you think about it, right, the apples plus the connect from the hit itself, is, that's probably a solid 30% worth of percentage differential. It's just, you know, some of it healed you. Instead, the hammer's going to catch Penne's landing. This guy is now up 2-1. Yeah, those big stages just not working out for Bowser here. Oh, okay, we got the character switch here. Gonna go Ridley instead. Uh, you know, I mean, I, it could be a good call. It's hard to say. I feel like Ridley is gonna struggle for a lot of the same reasons as Bowser does, but there are definitely some different tools, and there are some things Bowser does that just weren't really effective in this matchup, that Flame Breath just not really getting a whole lot done versus Game & Watch, where uh, a, a command grab that kills a little bit earlier might be, those spacing tools might be. Uh, you know, being able to hit Game & Watch and throw things on a shield from further away definitely might... Uh, might be the game changer, because you're not getting upbeat out of shield every time you hit shield. So far, though, still seeing a lot of the same problems in regards to just having trouble getting in uh, to actually land hits, and as soon as Game & Watch finds it... Oh! That was... I don't know. If that was me, I'd just hold shield that whole time. I waited out, but... Penne is still able to find a way out, doesn't get hit by those hammers, and actually has control of the neutral now, looking for some way to punish Disgaea on this ledge, but no success. The chair instead going to come out and snap Ridley's stock away. Ooh, that's, oh, oh my god, that forward smash kills. On a character as late as Game & Watch too, man, you just evaporate. You cease to be. And that <laughs> like... Get it, being on let oh, 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 trying to throw it into the stage there. That is something spooky you gotta be looking for is Ridley's recovery. And you get caught by that command grab, he might just chuck you into the bottom of the stage and end your stock like that. That thing it does not mess around. This guy really needs to respect uh, Penny's cover recovery a lot more in this matchup, too, because Ridley's getting hit by Ridley's upbeat hurts. Uh, it, and it it'll absolutely will kill you. But. It feels like, you know, there's, it's, it's a little bit harder here for Penny to get back into the uh, the neutral situation, which is really what needs to happen in this matchup. Landing back there, going to catch this guy off guard there. Going to bucket one of those fireballs. Hit by the next set, though. Up smash going to catch the landing. Penny now has the stock advantage here and is just content to float around these platforms, wait out those iframes, and just, you know, play evasive himself. Definitely can afford to be a lot more evasive with his character. Going to read the rolling with the down smash as well. Those extra jumps really uh, making the difference in getting back to neutral. I take back what I said before. This character having a much easier time dealing with that. Still dies the hammer to forward smash the same way Bowser would, though. That is something you just cannot afford to get hit by in this matchup. This guy now stuck off stage. No two frame, but... Still, 94% on Game & Watch. There's a lot of stuff Ridley can do that just kills you right here. So, this guy, instead of opting to camp, throw out some bacon, take it easy, keep Ridley as far away from him as possible, and I do not blame him. If Ridley gets in for even a second, that could just be it. Get up attack. Gonna give Penne an opportunity here. The command grab. Gonna catch this guy getting a little over-aggressive there, hitting a little too many buttons, but thankfully not quite gonna kill him. Missing that grab though, jab three, almost killing a character as light as Game & Watch. That is not how you want your set to go out, but oh no! Oh, the forward smash wasn't in range though, so Penny gets another chance. Gonna have to try to make it back to this ledge, the hammers! Absolutely gonna shut that down though. Disgaea able to clutch it out and take the set three to one, which brings Disgaea our grand champion here for Wonderfly number, we're on 47, right? I had this memorized earlier. Wonderfly number 47. 
What a set, though. I really did not think that uh, a heavy was going to be able to pressure a character like Game & Watch that well, but Penne really made every match come down to the wire. R just there was no, there was never an opportunity or a moment where it seemed like this guy uh, was just running away with the set. There was always that threat of a Penne comeback. What a match, but that is our grand finals. So that's all we have for today. So I will be, this is Consort, I will be signing off. And remember, if you've got venues you know of that are doing tournaments in Maryland, uh, even in uh, you know the parts of Virginia closer to Maryland, that are smaller, want to have a local you know stream set up, but just don't have the resources, please reach out, contact me. Let me know. I'm on Twitter.com uh, as at Consort Gaming. Let me know how I'm doing on commentary as well. And I will be here next week for Wonderfly 48. So mark that on your calendars. Be here next week because we will be back with some more absolutely excellent top-tier Smash gameplay. But until then, I will see you nerds later. Peace.